This is a guide of replacing a screen on the Acer Aspire 5 model number A515-54-52BQ. For the replacement process, we'll need the following tools. An X-Acto knife, a small Phillips screwdriver, a plastic pick, a metal pick, heat gun, tweezers. To begin, turn the laptop off by pressing and holding the power button. Disconnect the power cord. Start removing the bezel. Insert the pick between the plastic glass and gently separate the bezel. Using both hands, go around the perimeter and snapping the tabs underneath. Separate the hinge cover. Open the laptop fully and remove the bezel. The LCD screen is glued to the plastic cover. We need a heat gun to soften the glue. Warm up the left and the right sides of the top cover. Using a plastic pick, start gently separating the LCD screen. Use the heat gun repeatedly on both sides to make sure the glue is soft. Separate the LCD screen and place it on the keyboard. Use an X-Acto knife to remove excess pieces of glue. Use a metal pick or a knife to peel off the clear tape securing the video cable. Use tweezers to open the connector's bracket. Disconnect the video cable. Discard the old LCD screen. Take the new LCD panel and place it on the keyboard. Please note, the new screens do not usually come with adhesive. You can use double-sided adhesive tape that can be found on our site and make sure to clean the old glue from the inside of the top cover before replacing the new screen. Reconnect the video cable. Close the connector's bracket. Secure it with clear tape. Caution! It is very important not to force any of the connectors. As well, you must not twist or slant the connector when plugging it in. Lift the screen up. Before we continue, it is better to check if the screen is working. Press the power button and if the startup graphics appear, we can finish the installation process. Turn the laptop off. Replace the bezel. Start from the bottom, closing the hinge cover. Then go around the perimeter, snapping the tabs back in place. Close the laptop and make sure that the bezel is in place at the bottom of the screen. Turn the laptop on and we're done.